Unmute yourself. Is that true? Or is it the itching? Ah, you remember Martin? You. We've heard of him before. Or the rats? Jasper, is it? Ah, yes. That's not so bad in here. Except I miss your wife. Huh. You don't scare easy, I'll give you that. My wife is that hideous. <laughs> oh! Down you go. Now that's an overseer. They're the... What a sight you, are. you know, officials of the Abbey. I know who you are and what you're here to do. And I can help. Unlock me and I'll buy you a drink in a couple of days. By the void, I'll buy you a hundred drinks. Now, his voice is done by Joel Johnstone. He's a very young actor, hasn't really done all that much yet. He was, in, he was also in Aliens, Colonial Marines. What you're here to do tonight is of the highest importance. We've got to find Emily. So kill Campbell and make it quick. Once it's done, search his body for the journal, his notorious black book, and get out of there. Campbell is meeting with a guard named Kerna, and word from my informant is that Campbell is going to poison him. Maybe you can use that to your advantage. All right, I won't be of any help. All right. Me, so I'll make my own way back to the Hound Pits pub. If I see Samuel the Boatman, I'll tell him to pick you up in the backyard, behind the office of the High Overseer. May all the spirits guide you, may our enemy's head hit the floor without you taking a scratch. Yeah, he's sort of our man inside the Abbey. He's been a soldier, a highway robber, and a man of faith. And he has a rather questionable past, as we just heard. I don't suppose we're going to let him live. No, he's on our side. Well, I stalked him all the way to the door. I was just wanting to see what the heart had to say. All right, so now we won't be facing the guards as before. We'll be facing overseers, who have a couple. Who are a couple different tricks up their sleeve. One, a lot of them carry grenades, which they're not afraid to use. And two, they wear like metal masks, which means that a shot to the face with like a crossbow or a bullet will not one shot kill them. Interesting. So if you're trying to snipe them from a distance, you have to hit them from the, like the back or side of the head. Okay, here's something, the Heretic's Brand. This is about the non-lethal way to finish this mission. I've never seen the Heretic's Brand used. No. It's a rare occurrence. Basically, instead of but killing Campbell, so you can fry his face with a Heretic's Brand and he'll be driven out of the Our Overseers. <laughs> Although then in a subsequent mission, you'll find him, like, dying of plague, and hor uh, dying horribly of plague. Even the High Overseer, even the high overseer himself. I'm sure he deserved it. Campbell? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, absolutely. And you never need worry about such it, and it's in keeping with the recurring theme of this game of your the quote-unquote non-lethal methods of dealing with your assassination targets are frequently worse than if you just cut their throats. I mean, at least two of the at least two of the non-lethal things all... I mean, cause them to st still, they still die within the, in the relatively near future, just much more horribly. Okay. But, while those masks may block bullets, they don't, they won't do anything about a guy dropping from the light lamppost. I know you're here somewhere, scum. So you need a hasty retreat. Yeah. Z well, that's one of the one of the useful things about your power, like especially the the blink power, is that you can strike and then quickly vanish to where you know out to where they won't look or where they can't find you. you? Whether it's behind a wall or like high up. Oh, I'll find Interesting. You. 
So it, it, it helps with like hit and run tactics if that's your preferred route. These appear to be like streetcar tracks. So after a blatant murder like that, do they ever give up? I'm not sure. I'm not sure if they eventually. S I don't. I. Oh. Well, he won't live long enough to find out. I'm not sure if they remain continuously. Well, it, it counts against you. It, it counts in your final, you know, evaluation. It, it makes note of how many bodies were found. And I believe it increases chaos, letting dead bodies be found. So what if you knock a body out and then kill them? It that counts as dead. Do you know what that counts as? It's dead. Okay. Actually, if you're if you're not if if you're if you're careless with unconscious people, they can end up dead, and it'll count as like if you leave like a, an unconscious person lying in water, they will eventually drown. Interesting. And it's counted as killing them. Oh, in this guard house, you can go in through the window. Just a moment. Also, when you're crouched in this, I mean, when you're in sneak mode in this game, you automatically will crouch or even or like even crawl to get into enclosed areas. There's no crouch button as such, but. If there's a contained space, then in sneak mode, you'll automatically... If you can fit yourself through it, then you will. I see. So you can go under tables and things like that as well. And does it, it also restricts your speed, right? Yes. When you're, in, when, you're in, when, you're, when you're in sneak mode, you're not as fast. And you can't sprint when you're in, in sneaky mode. Wayland. Captain Kurnow and his retinue will be here this evening. See that they're allowed through the checkpoint without incident. I would like him in a fair mood when I have drinks with him in the meeting chamber. Also, be prepared to defend the checkpoint. From the inside, from, from the inside should things go awry with negotiations. Not that I expect they should, but I want your overseers prepared in case Kurnow and his men live up to the City Watch's reputation. So, High Campbell is on high alert. Hi, Campbell. Hi, Overseer Campbell is on alert. Seems like it's a lot more dangerous than just politics. Yeah. Well, there's Lots a right. Uh, literal backstabbing. The overseers have basically been pressed into the service, pressed into serve, are being used, you know, as like street troops. Uh, you know, as, as the uh, as the Lord Regent was saying earlier on the uh, loudspeaker. So now it's like the overseers are kind of. Ooh, there, oh, there, there's me. So the now the, like the seventeen year old to draw you, you look so depressed. <laughs> yeah, the overseers are kind of stepping on the toes of the city watch now. So there's some like growing rivalry and hostility. And And so we're off. And there's quite a bit there's some stuff here you can grab as well. Including the bre- oh, no. Some crossbow bolts. Some fish. We, we haven't yet had a chance to use one of these rewiring devices. They say that a lot. And get used to hearing that if you play this game, by the way. <laughs> they... You'll hear a lot about whiskey and cigars. One of them, one of them, well, one of them glimpsed me from quite a ways. Luckily, I've got grenades now. Oh! The grenades in this are very fun. Oh, there goes your head. Truly the stealthiest. Wow. Yes. <laughs> no one suspects a thing. Holger Square. Holger, I believe, is one of the, like the name of the first high overseer, or at least an earlier high overseer. Now 
there's that big open courtyard area that you can sneak through, and there's quite a few guards in there. But there are alternatives. There are almost always alternatives in this game. Now, the branding instructions are helpfully marked on your... in your vision if you want to go that route. Hmm. Now here's, here's, the, here's the kind of... There's the guy over there. This is the kind of thing that makes the zoom function so helpful. And mechanically, that's just... Like, In-game, rather, that's just built into the mask. Yeah. Yeah, that's how you explain it. Like, yeah, the actual upgrade is called mask optics or something. I wonder how he controls it. With his tongue, maybe? Good question. <laughs> Alright, bye. My, my attempted long-distance sniping affair d did not go well, but well, here's that alternative I mentioned. Down into the sewers. We go. Ah, excellent. Man, this pipe looks like a foot and a half wide. This guy must be tiny. Oh, all, all, all pipes and vents in video games are man-sized. It's... Some sort of... Some, they have very they have very weird like regulations about these things in video game universes for some reason. They Oops. must always be big enough to fit a person. Just in case someone gets stuck in there, they need to be able to climb out. You know, it's a safety thing. But sir, if we just made them too small to fit a person at all, <laughs> no buts. I'm not paying you to think. All right. I was just checking my rune, but I only have one rune at the moment, so... You can get Vitality, which will, you know, just gives you more health, but... That's a little too mundane. Sh Shadow Kill. Shadow Kill is a weird power. If you kill a guy who's when he's not aware of you, he, he crumbles into ash. Which is helpful if, you know, you're killing people and you don't want the bodies to be found. And if, you're, if, if you have level 2, then it, they crumble to ash even if they are aware of you. I actually, earlier when I was recording this, at one point I actually took that power, and then I started, I, then I went back to an earlier save without it. Simply because I enjoy the game more when there's lots of bodies strewn around. So, I use the runes for something else. And actually, we'll be seeing, we'll see, be seeing a few outtakes from that, that alternate timeline later on. Oh! Can you, um... Chuck a body at him. Can you still loot bodies that you turned to dust? Oh uh, yeah, their stuff is still there. Sneak down here. High Overseer Campbell actually keeps a secret under a special secret underground chamber. That you can visit. Although getting to it is a little tricky. Oh, here come the rats. It, it, it kind of it's kind of makes you think of South Park whenever Kenny dies and all those rats just show up. <laughs> he doesn't die so much in the later ones. No, they 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 drop that after a while. Sign of good writing. To kennel. We will be seeing the kennel later, that, but in this particular playthrough, I actually decided to avoid it. But that is an alternate way in. You sneak in. You sneak in through the kennel, where the overseers keep their giant, like wolfhounds or whatever they are. Dressed as a wolfhound. Obviously. Uh, of course. You, well, you dress up as a sexy lady wolfhound to distract them. And that 
that ends very badly, and that's why I didn't keep that playthrough, but... Perfect. Um, yeah, you're sneaking through the kennels, and they've got... The... Now, the dogs are, are very dangerous, they, they're, I mean, they are, like, these huge things. They're, like, wolves, practically. They get a hold of you. It's really hard to get them off. They just chew your arm right off. Here's another. Now, in the distance, you may actually hear music. Seems this is an odd place to be hearing it, you might think. I don't see Campbell's journal anywhere. This is foliage. If he oh. catches us in here, I've told you a hundred times. Campbell is upstairs meeting with the captain of the watch. Two for hours. Now keep looking. And I've told you a hundred times, Archer, that I am certain he keeps his stuff working. I won't continue. Because you're dead. <laughs> That was an odd little hiccup of the AI there. He didn't seem to like, notice that he... Maybe they didn't anticipate you killing that guy because there's really no reason to. <laughs> but, you know, Corvo Atano needs no reason. But, yeah, you... Murder is its own reason. Exactly. 